I am going to confess a very, very unpopular opinion where all the girls fans that watch are going to come <clears throat> to me with their torches and pitchforks, but my sh ultimate ship for Lorelai is Christopher. I love Lorelai and Christopher, and this episode is one of the episodes that just, for me, really emphasises how good they can be together and how in tune with each other they are and how similar <clears throat> they are. Like, sometimes I really feel like Lorelai and Chris are, like, two halves of the same whole. Like, they're just so in tune. Like, the fact that they both have the exact same reaction to Rory saying she's coming out. Like, Rory comes home and she's like, I'm coming out. Out of what? No, out into society. And then when she calls Chris, she's like, Rory's coming out. Coming out of what? No, coming into out into society. So I really like that. I love watching the banter between them. Um, I love the dance that they have. That one is fantastic. And I just, I, I love Chris as the character. Um, We'll talk about this possibly yeah. more as we discuss the series more. But I think he's a very inconsistently written character. They basically use him for whatever the plot calls for. And so because of this, his presence in, Laura, in Rory's life is very inconsistently written. And we get a lot of mixed messages mm. about him. But I think this is one of the few episodes where, yeah, you really get to see how well he works when things are good and when he's with Lorelai and Rory and he and Lorelai together just like I just I love them so much I'm not a Christopher fan so ah, okay. him playing such a big role for this like mm. to me I think the guy's a, a yuppie and I, I think it would be one thing if he, he he fessed up to being a yuppie but he tries to pretend that he's on the level and isn't a yuppie so that bothers me and besides that, I just feel he's got no personality, and and I think the actor's pretty pretty <laughs> bad. And so, I mean, not terrible. <laughs> I'm not talking outrageous, but like I, I think he is a weaker actor on the show, and I, I just don't think the character doesn't really have that much of a personality. So, <gasps> I think he's quite boring. There's obviously some nice scenes with him and Rory, which is fine and. It makes sense him being there for this. Like, I definitely don't ship him and Lorelai, so we 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 disagree on that one. You know, I'm not a Dean fan. I thought he was. Aww. I thought he was pretty wooden and and whingy, like he tends to be in this one. Christopher, I don't like Dean. I don't like so. In a in a way, boys. this episode wasn't <laughs> really singing to me. Oh my god, we're going to have to talk about the slander against my boys, Dean and Chris. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big yeah. defender of both. Yeah, I know you are, and it it's funny that Jess went straight into the credits and. Yes. So we've got Jess mm. and, and Dean in the same credits. So this this town ain't big Ooh. enough for the both of them, I guess. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. Know your thoughts in the comments. Who do you agree with? Like, do you like this episode like Rachel? Or are you not so keen on it like me? And where do you stand on Dean and with Christopher? Let us know what you think of that stuff. Like and subscribe as always.